Click on background check. Click here so you agree. Driver's license. Take a photo. Driver's license. Take a photo, profile photo. This picture they use. That's all you gotta do. You take a photo with your camera, with your phone, of course. And since at the beginning I put that, I was gonna need, a, I was gonna need one of their vehicles. So they, right now it's under renting mode. But if I wanted to use my own vehicle, get help in person, no thanks. Well, if you need help in person, you just use one of these hubs to go to. Apparently, Jesus. Apparently, according to this, there's only three on the East Coast. Which is ridiculous. This one has one. Driver's requirements. There it is. Minimum requirement. There are a few requirements to meet before you can you can sign up to drive with Uber. Meet the minimum age to drive in the city. Have your license for at least three years. If you're under 23. Have a valid U.S. driver's license. Use an eligible four-door car. Documents you need. Then you download the app. Once you sign up, you can go to the PlayStation, Play Store, type in Uber Driver App. Be the first one. Go in here. I already downloaded, so I just gotta click Open. All right, guys. This, this is what the application looks like once you're able to go online. Pretty much just hit go. I hope I don't get a request right now because you can't get too many cancellations and then just to cancel you would come down here say go offline if you want to hit driving preference here's where you sign up to become a Lyft driver type in your city which you need to apply your driver's license it's pretty much the same thing as Uber Background check, insurance, and other documents such as your state inspection and whatever else they require you, depending on your state, car or a rental, so you can get a vehicle through Lyft as well. Go that if you have a vehicle, you might as well use yours. Um, so you click on. More information, vehicle requirement, 
I believe it has to be newer than 2005 and it has to be four doors or four five seat belts eight maximum if you want to have a LX XL that's you get paid more for XL vehicles but of course you waste more gas Yep. All right, that's it for lift into the place for driver, lift driver. Here's the application for lift. It's pretty much the same way. You just this one. You just hit that blue button at the top with the steering wheel, and it locks you on. And you're able to see um, the request or something. Get help. Set filter destinations. You do it over here. Three little dot with the two little lines at the top. Um, the rise you got. Put you able to see in there the money. No signing off. Just so I don't get a request. How likely? Yeah, guys, that's it. All right, hope you enjoy the video. Yeah, so from when you submit your documents and your inspection, all all your documents, um, it took me about three days to get a response and from Uber, about three days three to four days to get a response from Uber um, and I was able to drive and start earning money. Lyft was a lot faster. I think Lyft was like two days after I submitted all my documents. They were, I was able to start driving so they were pretty quick. So if you do decide to join, make sure you give yourself about three or four days before you're able to drive depending on the city and how busy they are because you might have a city that you know, I don't know. He might be affected by the virus right now, so it probably takes a little bit longer. Yep, that's that's all I got. All right, bye. No